So yeah, there's breaking news about not only are we get a final season of Discovery that's getting about ten episodes, it yeah. AK ten episodes, AK sixty five of season five, the final season. But oh but not only that, but Michelle Yost's character the the sovereign Lanazu is also getting a spin off film a film that a series T V series called Section Nine. Yes, yeah, Sex Section Thirty One in the movie, yeah. Is now filming starring Michelle Yeoh, the Sarge Ventress. So yeah, it is a Pyramid Plus today a deal that has begun in in Tokyo in to, to, not Tokyo but uh, Toronto on Star Trek Section Thirty One an original movie event starring Academy Award winning Michelle Yeoh. In Star Trek Section 31, Yils will reprise her fan favorite role as Empress Versazu Georgie. Yeah, the Versazu Georgie is basically a Elseworld version of her character, Captain Georgie, from season one of Discovery. Yeah, it's like, look, it's like, she was in. Is she, yeah, you go back. Season one of Discovery. Yeah, it's like the season one. She was right there in season one. Michelle Yeoh's right there. She was a captain. Michelle Yeoh's. And this one is a mirror version of her. Yeah, it's like a mirror version of her. Yeah, Michelle Yo Michelle Giorgio, captain of the of the um USS Sor Sorios died because of Malcolm Berman's mistake in season one, leading to their creep and then when they went back in to the mirror verse with the dis USS di Discovery, we found out there was a mirror evil version of her who was the Empress of the Tan Tandr Tandrin Army. And yeah, this and this is the bitch who went in their universe and became part of Section Thirty One. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's not the Starfleet version, it's the evil version who joined Starfleet, but not the uh, real Starfleet, but Section 31. The Section 31 that was referenced in this DS9, in Voyager, and other shows like that, and including Lower Decks. It references it a lot in Lower Decks as well. So, yeah, Michelle Yeoh's mirror version of her character is getting a movie. He has a mirror version of her. A character she played in Star Trek Discovery first season who joined a secret di division of Starfleet taking with place the U United Federation of Planets, she also must face the sins of her past, aka her past from her mirror universe that she did. Persazio and other it was that Audrey Hostin Power. Katsu has an Emmy Award 
Emmy winter, winner Sam Renzella, Taya Lusef, Seven Resin, One Hint, Richard Kaizu, Paula Frizella, Hazu Gazir, Glenn and Glenn, George, and Jim Cardale Wilson, Bayou, has joined has joined the cast of the original movie event and will off to the race towards the photo ga gathering has start on Star Trek section thirty one says it's Producer Alex King Kidman, we welcome our ent ent entire cast of new characters as they join our beloved Michelle Yeoh on her next Wild Adventures exit the Strat universe. And here's a photo of Michelle Yeoh's hot ass. It's kind of funny because Michelle Yeoh did this, and and she's also in another thing, I believe. He 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 hammered is it? So yeah, Michelle Yeoh's doing this, and it's not the only thing Michelle Yeoh's did. Because you look at her on Wikipedia, it's like, You also got Michelle Yost, who... <laughs> it's kind of funny, because she was also a Bond girl. <laughs> she did... Police Story 3 Super Cop 2019 with Jackie Chan. <laughs> yeah, she was in Police Cop 3, Michelle Yost, with Yen Wu Su. And then she did in a couple other things over the years. It's like... And then she also, it's kind of funny because Michelle Yost did a lot of stuff. And then she's an uh, actual award-winning actress project. Like, over the years, it's like... They got a lot of stuff on Michelle Yost in it. Yeah, she was in, um, with Pierce Brosnan in Tomorrow Never Dies. Yeah, Michelle Yeoh, she was in that movie. I, yeah, I remember her in that. It, let's see, where is it? Oh, yeah, she was also in The Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor with Brendan Fraser. Yeah, she was in that one. As well, Michelle Yeoh's The Sinful Sisters, Crouching Tiger, Any Dragon. Yeah, I remember her Crouching Tiger, Any Dragon. Did they also do a sequel to that as well? She was in, and she was in Tomorrow Never Dies with Chris Brosnan. <laughs> yeah, I remember her in that as well. She was a Bond girl. <laughs> Michelle Yeoh's. There was a lot of cool things she did outside of Star Trek Discovery that she was good in, and then you also got. Oh yeah, she she was she's also associated with the MCU. Shang Chi: The Legend of Ten Ring, aka she played his mom. Yeah, she also re reprised that role, I believe, in the What If series. Michelle Yeoh's. So good old Michelle Yeoh's. 
Jose, that good old Michelle Yeoh's down. Is she, is she still does this? It's like, it, she's, she's an amazing actress. A.K.A. female kung fu art, art fighter. A.K.A. She was, she was basically trained by, I believe, the same people that taught Jackie Chan his martial arts work. Michelle Yeoh's. Yeah, because... Yeah, Michelle Yost did that, and she's and she's sixty one years old, dude. Mommy is going down. Mom still, she's still doing somewhat kung fu stuff. I'm just saying, for her age, just like, damn, she's sixty one. So yeah, they ain't got this. So yeah, they they're the cast of the show right there. Section 31. I, I always thought that was going to be a T. It, it was. Yeah, it's basically like what, what was going to be. Um, Armor Wars. It's basically like Armor Wars for the Disney Plus series. Disney. AKA the MCU. Secret Section 31 was supposed to be a TV series now as a movie. I'm like, I'm, I, I was like, yeah, I was like expecting this to be a. a TV series, not a movie, Section 31. Because they had a lot of in-development projects in, from, from Star Trek, and this was one of them. Now, I'm serious, this is one of those projects that they had in development. Hell, Section 31 is like, so I'm happy that this is finally happened with... Palagina Georgi, aka Empress Palagina Paula Paula Gargana, Gargana aka Emperor Paula Gargana, from the Mirror World. So it's not the good version of her, Paula. is the evil Empress version of her who was in was came back with Malcolm brother them from her dimension into their dimension and join section 31 and now get a movie based off of that story arc for her character, Michelle Yo. So she's playing an evil version of her getting redeemed thanks to section 31 slash Starfleet. I'm like, I, I always thought she was always evil and especially when she's doing Starfleet because it's in Section 31, basically, it's a bunch of evil motherfuckers using Starfleet to do a bunch of evil things, but she's but she's changing, so it's, like, kind of interesting. That's going to be kind of interesting story to tell of an evil bitch empress from an evil Tentarian multiverse where she's an evil empress getting redeemed for what she did in her evil... Parallel dimension. I'm just saying that's kind of interesting. It's an interesting story to tell, especially with Star Star Trek. And it's also kind of funny that these motherfuckers, especially Will Harte of Cosmic Big News, ain't say nothing woke about it. No, I'm serious because these are the same motherfuckers that hated Star Trek, aka modern Star Trek. These are the same motherfuckers who probably bash this stuff like this. These motherfuckers. So it's kind of interesting seeing a motherfucker say something nice about Star Trek. Especially you seeing the cast of it. It's like, it's a diverse cast and, it, and he's not saying anything woke about it in this, in this, in here, right here at all. There's barely anything here bad about it. Is this nice stuff? It's kind of weird because half the cast is from work on Star Trek, Star Wars, Owl, Owl, Outlaw, Justice League, and stuff that they were known to say is woke, especially Star Wars, a Star Wars video game. Didn't they say it's dead and also aren't, is in there number one bitch praising it, praising herself, aka Gina Carano here? Saying love and celebrate the things or people that made you smile is always a 
beautiful experience as a human being. And then she referenced the fact that she, she, she the, the Daily Wire and Ben Shapiro. I'm like, bitch, your movie made about $804, Gina Grotto. I'm like, literally, Gina. You made about $804 in the box office. No, I'm serious. Gina Carano literally made $804 in the fucking box office. Talking about make the world smile. Bitch, you get Game of Star Wars, bitch. You Game of Star Wars and you help. You basically part of a Nazi group. A game called The Daily Wire that's garbage. And your movie here was garbage. Taylor. Taylor. Terror on the Prairie is a garbage movie. Just like Lady Ballers is garbage. I'm just saying, Gina. Stop acting like you're this awesome person. No, you this dumb bitch who gave up Star Wars, bitch. You just some dumb bitch who gave up Star Wars, Gina. Okay, let's, let's don't, 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 don't get this twisted, Gina. You ain't this great, innovative person, bitch. You just some fucking hoe. And then you, you made $804 down metrically. Internationally and worldwide, you made about Thirteen million one hundred and fifteen hundred dollars for the Daily Wire. You ain't that great of a person, Gina. You ain't that great of a person. Your movie, your movie was god off and it made less than anything from Hollywood. Hell, at its best day, I can say this. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. The morals mean more than you. Okay, let's just say. It. Wow, it has its flaws and stuff, but it made more than Gina Carano's Tear on the Prairie. No, I'm serious. The Marvels made about more money than the Daily Wire could hope to get from their god awful projects. No, I'm serious. It's a, it's a decent movie. It has its flaws, but it still made more than Gina. Brie Lawson made more in her second movie than she made in her first movie, more than Gina Carano, okay? No, I'm serious. It's like, you can say what you want. It's like, I can say it. The Marvels made more than Gina Carano's movie. First movie outside of the Mandalorian made, Gina. Gina. Okay? I'm just gonna keep on saying that, Gina. You can celebrate your blah, blah, blah bullshit, Gina. Hashtag, we love Gina Carano. And the only reason these motherfuckers like you because you're a fucking hoe, Gina. You're a fucking hoe, Gina. You're a fucking right-wing, libertarian, fucking dumb hoe. Because I'm like, really, what, what, what are you celebrating, Gina? Now I'm serious, what the fuck is this bitch celebrating? Celebrating what, Gina? You, you're not, you, you, you ain't going on her fucking Twitter page, it's like, motherfuckers celebrating what? Celebrate, I'm like, literally, hashtag we love Kara Dude is like, cel international Celebrity day. She's not a celebrity. She was a celebrity, but she's not anymore. I'm sorry, but she's an ex celebrity, dude. I'm like, Ce celebrating what? I'm like, what the hell is this bitch celebrating? Gina Carano. Like, celebrating what? Celebrating what, Gina? Your character was in two seasons, dude. And these motherfuckers praising you like this, like, Cara Dune is this great character in Star Wars. It's like, you're more like a hoe. You're more like a right-wing hoe. Oh, we, we destroyed Disney Star Wars. Oh, 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 way to go, Gina. You destroyed Star Wars, you fucking hoe. You're a fucking hoe, Gina. <laughs> no, I'm serious, you're a fucking hoe. No, I'm fucking serious. You just, these people are celebrating. You got, oh, yeah, you put my... There is like the dumbass, token ass, Latino motherfucker himself, drunk repio. Bitch ass, little motherfucker. I'm like, what the fuck you celebrating? I'm like, this movie sucked. Terror of the Prairie sucked, dude. I'm serious, the movie sucked, dude. Oh, she was in Bar the Grill. You know who also was in Bar the Grill? Brie Lawson was in Bar the Grill. And a lot of other celebrities did an interview with him. So why aren't you celebrating them? Oh, oh, why aren't you celebrating them? Oh, 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 what, what, motherfucker? Why are you just celebrating Gina Carano? Oh, oh she did this. Oh, anyone could have done that, dog. I'm like, literally, Gina. Stop acting like you did this great thing. Oh, I'm riding a horse. Oh, shut up, Gina. 
I, I'm serious. This this bitch is dumb. This brain dead. This bitch is oh oh yeah, drunk three PO's the revolution. I'm like, what the hell are you celebrating? Up? Why are you starting a whole revolution against motherfucker? Now I'm serious. What is this revolution against? I'm like, what? What, 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 I'm like, what, what the fuck y'all celebrate? We love Gina Grano. Gina Grano ain't in nothing, dog. Her character ain't that great, dude. I'm like, outside of season one or two of the Man of Lord, what is her character is, is up to? No, I'm serious. Outside of season one or two of the Man of Lord, what great thing has Kara done done in Star Wars? No, I'm serious. Outside of season one or two of the Man of Lord, what has Gina Carano character been up to, and what what makes it a, a a superior character? Now I'm serious. Also, this movie sucks. This movie is a bomb. This is actually a, a box office bomb right here. Gina, and she can't act. She can't act. This bitch can't act. Dude. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep on saying that, Gina. What the hell are you celebrating? Oh, I have an action. Yeah, motherfucker, everybody has an action figure. Every motherfucker who did Star Wars has an action figure, bitch. Act, act like your your character, your character is this great character. Oh, oh, I'm the great character. Oh, my character, Angel Dust in Deadpool 1 was awesome. No, it wasn't. No, I'm serious, Gina. Your character in Deadpool 1 wasn't that great of a character, okay? She was a side bitch, okay? It was like, literally, she was a goon in, in Deadpool 1, dude. It's like literally Gina. You ain't that great of a character, Gina. You ain't that great of you ain't that great of an actress, Gina. I'm that stop stop fooling yourself, Gina. Stop fooling yourself, Gina. You ain't that great a character. You ain't that great a character. You ain't that great of an actress, Gina. You're just you're just a wannabe Republican pick me home. While my girl Michelle Yeos is awesome. You ain't, Gina. You ain't you're just some fucking hoe. You're just some fucking hoe. So I can congratulate my girl Michelle Yeoh for getting in a movie from Star Trek, aka Section Thirty One, because I am looking forward to this on Paramount Plus. And then also, uh, I'm kind of saying this as well, Star Trek related. You got on Netflix, Star Trek related. Mm, no, serious. Star Trek Prodigy. You got Star Trek Prodigy on here. Yeah, right there. Star Trek Prodigy. Give up hope, do you? <gasps> Who's there? Who said that? Just a prisoner, like everyone else. You speak my language. What species are you? What sector are you from? Does it matter? We're all trapped here just the same. Not me. I'm getting out of here. Everyone wants to escape. But this you're special. You're the only one who still thinks he can. Who are you? Just someone curious who needs a little hope. Hey! Okay! Okay! Easy drive by. Wait. Who was I just talking to? Oh, ow! Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, Star Trek Prodigy was on Paramount Plus, but got saved by Netflix. I like how Discovery first was on Netflix and now Star Trek Prodigy is on Netflix. So, it's like an interesting movie. I'm just an interesting Twist on it. It's like, yeah. So there you go. You got Section Thirty One is gonna be a movie on Paramount Plus, and it kind of Star Trek Discovery kind of started. It was helped by Netflix, and it's Netflix that saved Star Trek Prodigy. That's getting a, a second season, as a second season on Netflix. So there you go. So for all you Star Trek fans who thought this was never gonna happen, this this section thirty one that 
idea there was never going to happen. It is. And it's going to be on Paramount Plus as a movie. It's not going to be a TV series. It's going to be a movie instead of a series. So we're finally getting some new Star Trek related as a movie. So yeah, it is going to be Section 31 as a movie. So this is technically our new Star Trek movie, and it's going to be on Discovery. So Discovery is getting a movie. Just like Next Generation had one back in the day, and the original series had one. The only ones that did it was Voyager, DS9, and Enterprise that didn't get a live act, didn't get a movie based off the, the crew. So, technically, this is a, is gonna get one, but not on the crew, but is on the crew, so it's like Discovery Crew is gonna somewhat, but not really, but she technically is a part of the crew, so she's getting a movie based off Discovery, so there you go, motherfuckers, she's getting a movie. Michelle Yeoh's based off of her Terran Mirrorverse version of her character, who uh, was the evil empress, but not anymore, but getting redeemed because of Section 31 as a movie, based off of her story arc from Discovery. So, there you go, everybody. <laughs> That's the <a> thing. <laughs> kind of weird me saying that. That's the thing now. And also, you got... And then also in development. So yeah, it's like an upcoming project was also gonna be kind of thing that could be a movie. Is Star Trek, Star Trek Federation Academy based off of Picard? That could be a thing that I don't know. That was the thing they teased in Picard. Was Star Trek Starfleet Academy? Yeah, that's in the in development as well. So yeah, because of this breaking news, that could lead into this Star Trek Starfleet Academy movie. So yeah, you got that, and then you also got a lot of other stuff. But there you go. But we get it, a fifth season of Discovery that's coming out April of this year. And Star Trek Section 31 as a movie on Paramount Plus. And then you're also getting a second season of Star Trek Prodigy on Netflix. Get Star Trek Prodigy second season on Netflix. That's going to be also split into two, but you're going to binge watch it on Netflix. So it's like, there you go. Going to get 20 episodes. So yeah, Prodigy on Netflix. So yeah, that's getting a second season as well. A, a, another season as well, thanks to Netflix. So yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, what about, oh, I forgot about one, huh? Lower Decks. Lower Decks. I want to do some Lower Decks, dude. Yeah, that's getting a fifth season. It had, it had a fourth season. And we're going into the fifth season, but we don't know the release date of the fifth season of Lower Decks. So that's the thing as well. It's gonna have ten episodes. 
of Lower Decks in maybe a sixth season. I don't know. But, yeah. There you go. Other than that, that's basically it. Hope y'all enjoyed this one. Like this, subscribe, comment, share. I'm out.